What is going on guys? It is Parker here today bringing y'all another video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking this prefab box and we're going to be tuning it lower. So y'all stay tuned. Now y'all take an ample opportunity to make fun of my prefab box, but honestly I just hadn't really had time to build a uh, custom box and I switched to subs so much that it doesn't make much sense to build a customly tuned box to a specific sub because then I'll just have to change it up. But the one issue I do have with this box is that it's tuned to about 44 hertz and which is fine but when you're really listening to some of that low music you'll see the sub just moving away and you won't really hear much. So we're going to be tuning this trying to get it and kind of to the low 30s. So I'm going to be going over how we do that and we'll test it out at the end and see how it sounds. Just for anyone who has not seen, this will be a quick overview of my system. This is a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We have the RP2000. I have a little, add a little switch in here so we can see my volts. And of course that's with the car off. And then we have this Q Power box. Now if you measure the full inside diameter of this box, pretending there's no port there, we get about 2.9 square feet and then this is my Rockville Destroyer sub. We've been testing this thing out. Rockville's been under a lot of heat with their K9s, even their V2s blown up. So hopefully that will not be the same issue with this, but we will see. While we got this out, we'll take a quick look at it. This is the new Rockville Destroyer. It's their 2000 watt RMS sub. At least that's what supposedly is good too. So far it's been handling pretty well. If we look through here, all the leads are still looking pretty good. But if we do look into here, that does not look so good. See how it's all smooth right there? And then see how like rough it's looking up there? I'm gonna guess that they're having some glue issues with these two. Oh well, it is what it is. At least Rockville seems to be pretty good at standing by their products and you know, getting you new ones if they do blow. But we'll see. Okay, so here's the box. And as you can see, port only goes about to there. So that's a pretty short port. So, you know, no wonder the tuning pretty high on it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out we're gonna figure out how long it needs to be and we're gonna cut out, out a piece and slide it in here and then probably glue it in and yeah so let's see how long this port needs to be okie dokie so I will show the calculation up on the screen there's several cool online places that'll tell you how long of a port you need to get a desired frequency but the main issue that we have here that when I go all the way to the very back we only have about 29 inches to work with now if I wanted to tune this to 32 Hertz I think I need about 31 in inches and we also got to account for space over here so we need about another three inches off the wall so that would bring us to about 26 and a half so 26 and a half inches will be about what we'll get and that'll get us to right around uh, I believe 35 Hertz now if that's not enough we always could then have another piece going up along the back wall. But for now, we'll stick with this. I think 35 hertz will probably be plenty, at least for the moment. But again, can always tune it lower. So we got it cut and we're going to slide it through here. If we can see, it'll come up right to about there. So yeah, we're just going to have to uh, sand it down a little bit on the edge and then figure out how we're going to attach it on the sides. All right, guys, so the box is finally done. We got the piece in there. We got it glued in, glued all around the sides and all along there. So the port should be airtight. We still have about three and a half inches back there in case we ever want to 
uh, build it up to tune it even lower. But I think for now at least that'll be just fine. And then we did put two screws in the side just to hold it in there. I'm sure putting screws over the carpet is some sort of huge car audio no-no. And y'all are going to grill me in the comments about it, but oh well, it works. And it keeps that nice and solid. So yeah, not bad for a little modification on it. Let's get it in the car and see if it sounds any different. some pivot man Okay.
Cause Patty from a simple man of Cali with knives Take it in Miss Parker, bitch guys so there you have it it sounds really good definitely gets those lows a little bit better than it used to now it still is only tuned to about 35 hertz so it doesn't get those like really low notes um, some of those songs you know that'll have stuff tuned to like 25 hertz and whatnot that's still the same case you'll see it sitting there you know going crazy but it's not really you're not really hearing much but that's all right it definitely is sounding at least in my opinion a little better than it was uh, some of those you know slowed songs where it's a little bit lower it hits them really, really nice. So there you go, guys. That is the box. Now tuned to around 35 hertz. So that's exciting. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. The channel's been going, growing pretty quickly. So I really appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody commenting and you know giving me help and whatnot. That's really awesome. Y'all are really cool. And I really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, more videos coming soon. I have a couple of budget subs coming in that I'm going to be reviewing for y'all and telling y'all what I think. So we're going to have maybe some unboxings and then, uh, yeah, throwing them in the box and seeing what they do. So that should be in pretty soon. They're supposed to come in in the next couple days. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thank y'all, and y'all have a great rest of your day.